What's good you guys, it's Lifestyle from LifestyleDidit.com and in today's video, I'm kind of just going to be showing you some cool things you could do to your beats to kind of spice them up, diversify them, add different little flavors to them throughout some few things that I like to do, so I don't even know what we're really going to call this video. If you do hear some noises, uh, I have a fan on and I have the window open because it is over like 4,000 degrees and my room smells like hot dog water and wet spaghetti, so I'm going to have to just leave that window open, but we're going to get straight into it. So let's go over to the 808 first let's make unique right in the middle so right before this second melody comes in and it kind of excites the hook even more let's go in here and give this some spice at the end let's do a roll so all i'm gonna do i uh, actually don't even know what i'm gonna do yet let's just let's see what this sounds like that sounds pretty cool but i want it a little faster Okay, that sounds really good. I like that. And let's pitch one up. That sounds fire. Now let's go to the hi-hat. Make unique. And let's spice up the hi-hat a little bit. Let's see where it's hitting. There we go. Kind of just like it like that. Let's see. And then we're going to go to pan and we're going to pan these like this. And let's go back to velocity and actually turn these up now that we're panning them. And then on this one, we'll make unique as well. And we'll just put like a little roll right here. And have it fade up. And now we have something unique that's happening halfway through this hook. And it's very subtle. You can get crazy with it and do it more. You can even do it on, you know, the breakdown parts where that sign is about to come in. So we could go over here and let's just add another one. Let's do that slower one we did earlier. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's crazy. Hold on. And if we kind of make them go down, let's pan these two actually. Let's get creative because it's the last one. So we'll just pan these. Maybe a little less hard on the pan and the velocity not so much. And then it fades straight into that sine bass. So already it got like so much more interesting, especially at the end of each bar because it gives it this switch up and then it drops into like, it's like this da da papa, and then it just goes into like this nice calming sine wave with a clap and you no longer it, it switches you know you got this hype and then it calmed down real quick and that's how you can create a lot of emotion in your beats i have been rendering all of my melodies to audio clips and the reason i'm doing that is first off because i want to be able to pitch them easily and kind of affect them as one but it also makes me not go back and really change the melody it makes me stick to it and work with it throughout the track So that was original. Then I threw gross speed on it and I rendered it in Edison. So you can render however you want. I know I do it the long way. I'm gonna get ripped in the comments. So I'm gonna tell you first, skip this part if you don't wanna see it. But all I do is put Edison on the master. I go over here, I hit record. Okay, and then I go in here and make sure it's synced up with the tempo. So 133, I've probably changed it at some point. So it's 134. Now it's gonna be on time. I cut the edges, then I come in here. It's real simple. You guys have seen this a million times, so I'll speed this part up. Then I go in here and I do D click in and D click out. So I'll drag that in. And another thing I'll do is do that whole thing again, but sometimes I'll take out, for instance, I took out this little guitar pluck. So then I had this version right here. So now throughout my beat, I can go around and I'll have a version of the melody that's different. But since these are rendered, you could go in here and change the pitch and you could warp it and you could reverse it. And it makes it so much easier because you don't have to do it individually. So if we wanted this to be reversed, we just reverse it, right? Long story short, I'll intro something different than the other melody. So for this, here's what I have. And then we'll switch to this. And you hear that flute in the back of it too, right? So I put a higher one right here. And then it drops into this. And then over here I have a higher version of this. So all I do is literally take it like this, 
make unique and then I just pitch it up and then we have this so now it goes into this so now that we have this second part right here we can put it into its own mixer and I like to add EQ cut out a bunch of the lows some of the highs and then put a doubler on it to kind of space it out now when you layer it and you play it together on the second part of the hook watch how big and wide this gets <laughs> So that's something I like to do, it makes it real simple, render my melodies, switch them up, sometimes take things out. Now I only have to deal with these and not all the different types of melodies I have going on. It makes it nice and quick. So the next thing we're going to do for me personally that I love to do is we have our 808 going, right? It's a new 808 from my Oblivion kit. You can find it on my site, but there's the kick and the 808 that are linked together. What I'm going to do is take a sine bass instead of just the 808. Yes, it's a sine wave, but I'm talking about a sine bass, and you know what I'm talking about. This is what I call them. So it'll be something like this. Something that actually just sounds like a really long sine wave, right? And what we're going to do is copy the 808, but when the 808 isn't playing, we're going to have this, what I call, sine bass play, even though they're both sine waves. So we're just going to go over here and literally copy the 808. So control A, control C. And on the 808, we're going to come in here paste it another thing we need to do is make sure they're on cut itself on the same track so this one if we come over here it's on cut itself and it's on four we're going to come over here put this one to four as well and now they will not overlap each other so now we get this <laughs> So just doing little things like that can really spice up the beat too because you'll hear it if we just take out the melodies. Watch how cool the drums drop out and come in with the sign. It just fades out. Just gives it a nice switch up. Really easy but something that can really sound cool throughout the beat and give it a different perception because then it's no longer going to feel like that 808 just running the whole track so let's just go ahead and do that over here again and we can actually even end it with that 808 now another thing that i like to do now that we have this sign 808 keep calling it that we'll just call it like i don't know a long 808 is make unique pitch it up and let's just do one note so that sounds good let's pitch it down one and turn the volume down a lot and for the intro, now we'll have this little sine bass that comes in. Right, let's make this one unique again. And drop it down. But they're quieter. And then it just drops into the 808. So you can get creative. You can do a lot of things with that. Real simple. It's those small adjustments you could do that really make your beat so much more interesting and give it so much more emotion it just takes time to get in here and get intricate with small things but it's worth it in the end when you listen back to this beat like a year later and you're like dang i'm glad i did that or someone's like yo that's crazy and you're like cool you know the time i took to do that actually made this sound good so once again another quick video i hope you guys did enjoy this if you did leave a thumbs up you guys can follow me on all social medias at lifestyle did it make sure to hit my site lifestyle did it.com for everything else other than that subscribe to your boy push notifications thanks